Hello, I'm here with another video. Today's video is going to be about anime fanboys. I bring this up because uh, any video done by criticizing Dragon Ball Super is heavily downvoted. Even though it has a lot of fair criticisms within the video, it still gets downvoted to fucking death. And this doesn't really pertain to Super itself, but this is just a relevant, uh, you know, anime I'm just bringing up that I see a lot of dislikes on critiquing it in any kind of way. Um, fair criticism and all, they will still get a lot of hate. And this will, this applies to pretty much any series that there are fans for. Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z. Pretty much any anime fan base will just shit on you for your opinion. <laughs> this is the anime community in a fucking nutshell right there. Um, it's really disheartening that you, you can't have an actual, you know, fair criticism video towards a certain anime or a certain manga without getting completely shitted on. Unless it's, a, it's a, like a universally hated fucking manga or universally hated anime. It's just, I hate how the anime community, uh, you know, I guess acts if you bash on their favorite character or their favorite manga or anime series, even though it could contain fair criticisms. This is all the anime community as it, it is. I know it sucks that you can't really critique it. It's like, oh my god, he's talking about my Dragon Ball Super Kun. How dare that fucker. And I see a lot of videos like this. Even though it is a fair opinion, it's like, it's not these... It's not like these videos are just going on there. It's like, oh, you, you're fucking living in your mother's basement and you're faggots if you watch it. No, it's like actually decently critiqued dialogue within these videos that just point out a lot of its flaws. I don't think there's anything wrong with pointing out certain stupid shit that happens within anime and manga alike. And if you think it's fucking stupid, then you should say so. A lot of things that happen in these mangas anime series really don't fucking make much sense. And just because it's badass doesn't make it less shitty of a writing. This happened a lot in Naruto. This is That's like one of the most infamous uh, manga series that I can think of where uh, they would get power-ups in... <coughs> their abilities off-panel completely out of nowhere and... That happened quite a bit, and it's like, oh, people would forget it because it was badass. Now I see that in Super a lot, where Trunks gets this super bad fucking huge power-up basically up his ass out of fucking nowhere. No hints of that he can tap in this kind of uh, power, and people just go batshit insane over it. Like, oh my god, Trunks, and just get off on that shit, and it doesn't take away that shitty writing. It's, it's a big ass pole. It shouldn't be that powerful. If you do videos on this, you'll probably get a lot of hate comments, a lot of downvotes. And I just hate how the anime community is like that. And not all anime community is like that. Some will accept your, uh, your criticism towards it. Others will downvote your shit to death. Others will say, you're a faggot for, uh, or, uh, a lot of those are just trolls, but a lot of them are fucking dead serious because they wanted to vend their own their anime series or manga or favorite character to fucking death. No, regardless how shitty they are. <laughs> I just I don't get where the anime fanboys like mindset is with that. That's with any fanboy of any kind of genre or uh, gaming system or video game series. Pretty much all fans, boys, are like this, but if you get into the anime community, it's it's like a whole different fucking league. Um, a lot of these people are weeboos, will fucking just destroy your ass if you have any negative shit to say about their series or favorite character or anything like that. And it's fucking terrible. I just thought I ran about it. Thank you for listening. Write, comment, and subscribe.